Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly create wireframe renders in Blender. There are plenty of ways to achieve this, but I personally prefer this method because it's fast, efficient, and gives me great control over the final look. So, let's dive in and bring those wireframes to life. Your model's topology can vary a lot, but if you want it to be easy to work with, it's important to keep it clean, free of unnecessary polygons, and optimized especially if it's intended for animation. And what better way to showcase your hard work than with a high-quality wireframe render that highlights the model's topology. For this tutorial, you don't need to delete the default cube, yes, you heard that right, the default cube is safe for now. Just keep it selected and switch to edit mode. From here, select the edges you want to showcase in your wireframe render. In this case, we'll select all edges. Next, go to the edge menu and select mark freestyle edge. This tells Blender which edges to include in your wireframe render. Now, head over to the render properties panel and check the box for freestyle. This activates the feature and gets Blender ready to render your selected edges. Next, switch to the View Layer Properties tab and look for the Freestyle Line Set section. Under Edge Type, uncheck Silhouette, Crease, and Border. Instead, select only Edge Mark. This ensures Blender will render the wireframe only on the edges you marked as freestyle edges earlier. Freestyle comes with a lot of customizable parameters, but for wireframe renders, the most important ones are under freestyle color. For a dark model, a light color works best, and for a light model, a darker color will help the wireframe stand out. Another useful parameter is freestyle thickness, which determines how thick the lines in your wireframe will appear. Adjust this setting to get the look you want whether it's fine and subtle or bold and striking. And that's all you need to get started. You can try this technique with any model, why not give it a go with Suzanne, the iconic Blender monkey. Also, for a professional looking wireframe, it's important to make sure your model is well lit. I'll add a link to a video in the description where I show how to light a scene properly using 3-point studio lighting. Most parameters in Blender are animatable, and freestyle is no exception. I actually used wireframe techniques in freestyle for my latest music video. It's a dubstep track called Wireframe, and the entire video was created in Blender. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future tips and tricks. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. Happy blending and see you in the next video.